Well, a big day at Vizzy Park in the boxing ring. Wild Will Tomlinson. Will, uh, world champion. Tell us about the division, etc., for your world championship. Yeah, I'm uh, the IBO Super Featherweight world, top, world Champion. I won that last year against Alan Herrera. Um, I fought him over in Perth on Danny Green, Christoph Ludacek's card. And it was a great fight. Um, it was a perfect way to win a world title. It was a 12-round brutal contest. And, you know, I come, come away with the win and the world title. So I was stoked. How's it feel being top of the world? I mean, literally top of the world in, in your craft. Yeah, it's, it's a great feeling. There's obviously a lot of um, excess pressures that come with it and expectations, but you just you got to learn to deal with it and just keep going about doing what you do best, and that's, for me, fighting and winning. And another big fight coming up uh, in a week's time on the 18th, Friday the 18th. Yeah, Friday the 18th, uh, live on Fox Sports. I'll be defending, making my first world title defence against Daniel Ruiz, another Mexican fighter. There's lots of Mexicans out there in uh, my weight division. It's just the sort of the standard size for them boys over there and um, you know Daniel Ruiz he's a very young strong hungry fighter he's going to come he's going to try and take my title and take what I've worked so hard to win and have and you know I'm not going to let him do it. Well we hope not. Um, that When you won the world title am I right in saying you actually were over here at Vizzy Park not, long, not too long after that um, speaking to the Carlton players? Yeah I um, came here Pretty much like a week after the fight, I still had, I'm pretty sure I still had all the stitches and stuff in my face and um, yeah, I had a chat to him about um, what I went through in the preparation leading up to that fight and the sacrifices I had to make to you know, make my weight and get myself in a condition to go through that type of a brutal fight. Yeah, I've been, um, after that fight, I've been coming back here training with uh, Joel Hocking here doing um, some gymnastics work and working with uh, Johan Bilsbra. He's my um, dietitian and sports physiologist and, you know, great uh, coaching staff here at Vizzy Park and, you know, they're great to work with. Well, I remember you coming in because you did have the stitches, I can tell you. We didn't recognise you this morning when you came back. Can I, if I can just bring Joel in, if I can, Joel Hocking, of course, you just mentioned Joel. Joel, you've obviously been working with Wild Will. It's great when there's a bit of distance I can call him while we'll not expect a right hook or something. Um, it's just something different for us, but great for the Carlton Footy Club and Vizzy Park, the facilities, and you get to, to help out a, a world champion. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, obviously, from Will's standpoint, being able to come here and, and use these facilities and have, I suppose, a pretty low-intensity start to his preparation for this fight has been really good for him, but also good for us, giving us some exposure to working with boxers and you know, slightly tweaking our type of programs to the way we may be able to manage it with our players, but um, also with the players being able to see how hard Will trains and the type of work that Will does to prepare himself for a fight. I mean, that, that's one of the things. AFL is the pinnacle of, of our sport. Will's a world champion, but you must, not just in boxing, but other sports from your viewpoint, in fitness, etc., pick up different ideas from other sports? Yeah, I think there's, there's little adaptive things, especially with footwork with regards to boxing, that we can start to adapt to our players. But... Um, you know, obviously the contact being a little bit rougher in boxing, I don't think we start applying those sort of things. But um, there's little, little ways in which we can um, apply the things that Will does to the, the way we work with our players, for sure. And uh, Will, I was going to ask you, you haven't seen any of the guys, but, but it was quite interesting. You had a, a bit of a uh, hit with the pads with your trainer before, a bit of a sparring with the pads. Did you notice the guys come around? They're genuinely interested, the Carlton guys. Did you see that, job? Yeah, absolutely. And Will, did you notice the guys? Yeah, they all seem very interested to know what's going on with the fight and you know, how I'm going in the preparation and all that. And I think you know, we're, the, we're the same breed of people. Like We're both you know, competitive athletes and we just like to know what else what happens you know, in the other sports. Probably some things he gets away with we couldn't on the footy field, Joel. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All of the head high contact. But um, you know, we've got a few closet boxes amongst our boys as well but, uh, that like to get in amongst it. But um, yeah, not of this, not of this calibre anyway. No, it was quite amazing. Um, now, you've, have you got into the Carlton Footy Club yet? I know you, uh, my understanding is you grew up in Bansdale as an Eston supporter. Have we got him over, Joel? What do you reckon? I, th I think he was a little bit torn, Eston and Carlton game, but, um, you know, I think uh, we've still got a little bit of ironing out to do before he's a full blue boy. Can we get you over? Do you think, well, where are you now? Where are you in the AFL ladder at the moment? To be honest with you, mate, um, like, the other day when I was watching the game, I didn't know whether I was Arthur or Martha. I was... I, I knew that, you know, I was born and bred a bomber. I love the bombers, um, but Carlton have been so good to me recently. I was, it was a hard one. Well, I'll tell you what, I reckon what we should do, it might be a challenge for everyone, winner of the next game, Carlton Eston, more on the line. I reckon we should put his allegiances on the line. What do you reckon? Oh, we'll, see how, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, we might see after the game. I don't know what my old man will say about it. He'll probably <laughs> disown me, but, you know. 
We'll see what happens. Well, listen, it's great to have you here. As uh, Joel mentioned, and from our viewpoint, um, fantastic to have a world champion using the facilities of Vizzy Park, meeting the players, showing them a little bit about your sport. And I know they enjoyed it, and we love having you down here. Well, thanks. No, thank you, guys. Thanks for all your support, and yeah, I look forward to keep working with you in the future.